What's up, best friends? My name is Brian Deach, and today I want to talk to you about Zscaler for users. And the idea here is simple. You need more modern security because you have a modern workforce that's going up against a threat landscape that is forever evolving. And let's be real, traditional perimeter-based security just isn't cutting it anymore. In fact, I'd argue that that type of technology is allowing those threat actors to kind of fish with dynamite. And it's kind of like locking a screen door. You can do so much better. But with Zscaler for users, not only is it about increasing productivity, it's about decreasing your risk and delivering an exceptional user experience for both your end users and your administrators. And how do we get that done? Kind of simple. Take entity A to entity B, secure the connection. Who's coming in? What are they talking to? Where are they trying to go? Provide context. So let's talk about how we achieve this. It's done simple with the 500 pound gorilla in the room. And no, not me. I'm talking about the 500 pound gorilla in the cloud, the Zero Trust Exchange. Let's look at this a little bit closer. So when I talk about the modern workforce, what I really mean is you have any user from any device from any location in the world. I wanna have a security policy that follows that user regardless of their location, whether at home, Starbucks, abroad, Google Africa, even in the office. I'm gonna ensure that when they're going out to the internet, they're not gonna put any risk onto you and your organization. They can still check their personal email. They can go out to Gen AI websites if you wanted them to. Heck, you can even allow them to do their job. Now they go out to the SaaS-based applications like Office 365, Salesforce, ServiceNow, and get along. But to do that, you need to have a connectivity issue. And this is where we like to introduce the Zero Trust Exchange from Zscaler. Now, what you need to know about the Zscaler cloud is that we have 160 points of presence globally. We're moving around 50 million users every single day, along with hundreds of millions of workloads every single day. And at the time of this recording, that's like right around 6.7 terabits per second across all 160 points of presence. And the idea is simple. I have a mechanism to take any device, Mac, Windows, iOS, Android, Linux, and steer that traffic here to the Zero Trust Exchange. But I also need to figure out who the identity is of the user. And we just kind of partner around that. So maybe you have Azure, Maybe you have Okta, who knows, but you have an IDP of some nature. That'd be kind of my, my gateway of the truth of who that user is. And when I look at the user, the idea is simple. I want to allow the bad, block the bad, stop the stupid, protect the very prompt. But I want to get visibility when traffic is going up over here to internet, then here over to SaaS as well. And if I work this from the bottom up, I think, well, I need to be able to protect the user. That way they can't like SSH or RDP, or do weird things over DNS or DOH, the list kind of goes on and on. And how I do that is I actually support all ports and all protocols. And when you do that, now you have the ability to enforce a cloud firewall, regardless of the location of that user. But as we move up the stack a little bit, now I'm decrypting. I'm looking inside that entire payload. I'm not going to assume just because they're going out to OneDrive that they're secure. I can actually pull that open, look at it, and using our AI cloud sandbox, I can produce a verdict of uh, something is either benign or bad at line rate. So you ask yourself the question, what does ransomware, malware, and zero day all have in common? They get blocked with the Zscaler AI sandbox. So we take all this into account, it's kind of Zscaler for users, but wait, there's more. You still have cloud, maybe Azure, AWS, GCP, you still have the data center to kind of contend with. And that's going to come up next with the Zscaler private access for your private applications. So we start to think about private applications. Where do those actually live? And those private applications could be back in your data center. Maybe you have one data center. Maybe you have 10. It's okay. I got you covered. Maybe you've migrated some of those applications into the cloud, in Azure, AWS, GCP, OCI, it doesn't really matter. But when we talk about these private applications that are being accessed, it's just not just your employees. It could be BYOD, it could be third parties, it could be contractors. And the goal here is that we actually wanna keep the users 
off the network because users on the network is just kind of gross and yucky because at the end of the day, they are your biggest liability in life. And our goal here is to hide all the applications because you can't hack what you can't see. And if we reduce your attack surface, exponentially makes your life better. So how do we do this? If your inbound ACL to the cloud or to the, to the data center isn't any, any deny, what do we do? Well, we have an application connector and its sole goal in life, right? Is that it's just kind of reaching outbound here to the zero trust exchange. And when users, third-party contractors, vendors are coming in, we kind of meet here in the middle, we look at the identity and then produce a verdict. Allow, deny, steer, isolate, warn, deceive, coach, the list goes on and on. But we'll keep the users off the network, keep your applications safe, and help reduce your attack surface. So looking at all this, now I have to think about, hmm, how do we troubleshoot that? And that's where the Z-Square digital experience comes into play. So I get it, security, we got it. But how do you begin to troubleshoot this? And this is where the Z-Square digital experience comes into play. I'm 100% sure if your network or your security, you guys have been on a call and the finger pointing begins is, no, it's you, no, it's you. And then the help desk person is like, geez, man, I just, I just really want to close this ticket. What I have for you is an incredible get out of jail free card. And the reality is I don't want network or security to ever have to troubleshoot this. I want like a tier one help desk person to come in and do this. And why? The answer is simple. I'm going to take that mean time to resolution where the meantime, the innocence down from the couple of hours when someone's complaining to maybe a couple of days, a week, a month, or quote unquote, fix itself, right, over time. And what I want to do is give you that meantime, the resolution, meantime, the innocence in a matter of minutes. I want a tier one help this person to log in, type in someone's name, and say, what the heck is going on here? Brian is saying that Zoom is slow or it's jittery. What's going on? And the outcome in is actually pretty sexy. With the Zscaler digital experience, I can look at everything from the end user CPU. Well, maybe you're being overwhelmed by some rogue process, or maybe you have an issue with your Wi-Fi, right? You're bouncing back and forth between 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz. Try figuring that one out in a PCAP, right? Good luck. Maybe you're having an issue with your local ISP and latency and all that good stuff is being introduced. I obviously get visibility right here, I don't get visibility into that last smile going to the internet, last smile going to SaaS based applications. And yes, you guessed it. I don't get visibility going into your cloud based applications or even the data center. I'm going to get visibility along every single hop along the way. I'm here to deliver an exceptional user experience. And when I say that, it's not just for the users, but it's the, for the administrators of this product as well. But wait, there's more. We also need to figure out how do we extend zero trust security to any browser in the world. Let me introduce you to the zero trust browser. So keeping up with the, uh, the whole theme of any user, any device, any location in the world. I also want to say any browser in the world could actually be connected to the zero trust exchange. We call this the zero trust browser, but in short, you instruct these users, you can go out to a URL. That URL is going to kind of terminate right here at the Zero Trust Exchange. And yes, you guessed it. First thing I do, I'm going to authenticate it. I can support multiple identity providers. Heck, I can even allow you to bring your own identity. But based upon who that user is, they're going to get some icons out of here. It could be web, it could be SSH, RDP, real VNC. The list kind of goes on and on. It doesn't really matter where that application lives. It could be in a branch factory, you can be a SaaS based application, cloud, heck, even the data center. But in true zero trust fashion, I want to do a couple of things. Number one, I want to keep your data where it belongs, which is not on this third party device. So I'm streaming pixels to it. Number two, maybe this user needs to upload something. That's where that Zscare AI sound box is going to come in there and protect it. And then three, I can do some session recording, session ushering, session proctoring. The list kind of goes on and on. And last but not least, in true Zscar fashion, I'm able to inject credentials into these destination applications. That way, that user, that third-party contractor, that, that vendor that's coming in has no idea what identity was used to actually log into that application or that service. We call it the Zero Trust 
browser, I think is pretty cool. And moving forward, they're telling me I need to kind of wrap things up. So let's fast forward here. So let's zoom out for a moment. What ties all of this together? It's the unified, scalable architecture of the Zero Trust Exchange, whether it's internet access via Zscatter Internet Access, ZIA, internal app access through ZPA, or digital diagnostics from the Zscatter Digital Experience, or heck, even Zero Trust Browser stitching together those users coming in from any browser in the world. It's all one consistent cloud-native framework one platform, one policy structure, and one source of truth for all users, apps, and data. This consolidation just doesn't simplify your operations. It's going to lower costs, strengthen your security, and make your teams more efficient. By adopting this platform, you're going to reduce your attack surface. We're going to increase productivity, simplify operations, and a huge cost savings by cost takeout. So as you can see, Zscatter for users so is a lot more than just security. It's about connecting users to the applications that they need to get their job done, reducing your attack surface, keeping the users off the network, rolling out a policy that can follow the user regardless of their device, their location, and heck, even their browser. And with all that said, hopefully you got something great out of this video. Do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe. We appreciate you for watching.